Well, there's absolutely no question whether these stand out. These are from a company I've not seen before, Cactus, and they're an absolute beast. Well, hi guys, welcome back to A Bus and Beyond, and I've managed to get in just before it opens, so I'm taking advantage of it being lovely and quiet, and amazingly, there's still a lot of people. It's the first day of the show, so there's still quite a, bit, a lot of people setting up. I'm in the camper van section, and uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good, actually. I wish it would stay this quiet all day. That'd be quite nice, wouldn't it? But let's take a look at some of the, the things that really stand out. So the first thing that takes my eye is this Wild Axe, based on an MAN TGE. This looks a beast, look at those wheels. Very nice indeed. And this is the Altair RS Sport. I like that little seating area, that's pretty fancy, isn't it? Obviously you've got captain's chairs at the front there. Might have to do that with ours a little step that's quite fancy I like the carpets as well that's quite nice makes it a bit more comfortable and then it's your more traditional layout where you've got a nice big bed at the back longitudinal bed looking at that and look at the size of that fridge that is huge a decent sized kitchen with an induction hob storage up above as well got a couple of cupboards there big control panel for everything all the controls here for your heating battery status and all that jazz look at the um the upholstery is lovely real nice leather upholstery this is the rs sport and it looks good i've not seen those before this looks like they're built-in blinds at the front it's quite surprising how much space that takes up at the bottom actually it's quite a big setup even when it's down let's have a look at the bathroom Nice, good size. Cassette toilet. And yeah, <laughs> like I say, look at the size of that fridge. It's huge. It's massive. You've got a microwave above. Nice. And what do you think to the laser lights on the front? They are a beast. And it's got a beastie splitter on the front as well nice quite the setup that isn't it I do like those wheels Let's see what kind of storage you have at the back here yeah that's not bad okay something a bit different this is the GoPod Tora in bright pink what do you think to this <laughs> not one for the the shy customer, I don't think. Look at that interior though, that is stunning. I really like, it's like a dark gray blue color. Look at those seats, that's incredible. It's got a tiny little pop top. You can see just there, look. So it gives you a bit more height when you're in the van. That is so cool. I like the seating, that is nice. Then you've got windows all round. Obviously your gas burner and sink combo there. Um, fridge is opposite. No toilet in this, unsurprisingly. But yeah, it's, it's really nicely done. <laughs> but very, very bright pink. And if the pink GoPod isn't your thing, then you've also got like a bluey, uh, bluey gray kind of color. That's nice as well. Very cool. Now, what do we think to this? This is based on a Sprinter. This is by a company called Project Yonder. Again, I've not heard of these before. But this is a really cool build. This is the Freedom 4X, but look at things. Obviously, again, you've got a massive lift kit real cool wheels you've got 
driving lamps up on pods just above the bonnet. But look at the, uh, the roof rack. The roof rack is beautiful, really well done. We've got a light bar across the top, awning light running down the side. A really nice color as well. So let's take a look inside again, based on a four x four vehicle. Um, really cool floor actually, it's like a cork flooring. This is cool. These, this range starts from 165, but this one, as spec, is 195. But yeah, you've got obviously uh, captain's chairs that swivel around again. You've got, in fact, these are really nicely upholstered as well. It's all just been cleaned, ready for the show opening. Um, you've got storage above that. That screen there is a massive sat nav. That's pretty cool. It's just so bright. Um, then you've got seats back from um, the actual table area, so to make up the dinette. Above that, you've got a couple of bits of storage. Air conditioning fitted in this van. Uh, look at the kitchen. The kitchen is really nice. I like the way this sort of kicks in, so it just gives you plenty of space to get by. But again, you've got an induction hob. You've got uh, plenty of drawers. Real big sink, actually. That is a good size sink. Big stainless steel sink. Look at the control panel. The control panel is very fancy. It even shows the exact van on the side. That is really neat. Your fridge is further back here. You've even got a coffee machine fitted in this. The quality is exceptional. Another pull-out step. That's pretty cool. And then looking at the size of this, this looks like it's going to be a big washroom. Oh yeah, look at that. That is a big shower. That's a huge shower. I think that's bigger than ours at home. So this is a really good size shower area. It looks like a composting toilet, I suspect. And then, yeah, this panel's nice. It looks like tiles, but I think it's actually a PVC acrylic panel. And then up to the bed area. Yeah, it's a really good size bed as well. This is obviously quite a big van, but it's it's got tons of space. You sleep width ways again on this one. Windows either side, roof vent at the top there as well. Yeah, very nice indeed. There's even a microwave down the bottom there. All the different colour palettes that you've got on here. There's all sorts of different things. It's a really cool stand actually. It's got the wheels showing on the side there. All black Rhino wheels. Very, very nice wheels. You've got different paint schemes here. So this one must be in, looks like a moss grey colour maybe. Speaking of how good the stand is, you can even see like they've got bits of stuff that's installed so you can just have a touch and feel of what goes into the vans it's nice here we have arb stand and they're just showcasing all the stuff that they do and it's it's all sat on this transit here that is actually from czechoslovakia look at that anyway it's got all sorts of stuff like the lighting on the front here you can see big spotlights um the bags are cool on the top there I'm guessing they're waterproof if they can go on the top. Then you've got huge um, fold-out roof tent with ladder. You get tons of stuff all on this quite good-looking stand. I like it. And then if you go around the other side of the transit, you've got a stand with all sorts of bits. And then, yeah, look at this awning. This is quite the setup, isn't it? It's like a roll-out awning, but with sides put down. And then, yeah, you've got like a bed down here, tables and chairs, and even a little dog tent. <laughs> That's fantastic. Now, what do we think to this? This is from Mink Campers, and it's one of these little sort of pod caravans, but it's looking really rugged. Look at, the, <laughs> look at this, it is basically just a bed but a very nice bed it is. Gosh, it's really funny when you come in to this little space here, it's really well insulated. So the sound just disappears. That's really strange. Yeah, it does have a heater. You can see the heater controls up there. And then this here, this roof, it obviously rolls back so that you can look at the stars at night time. That's cool. I like the big off-road tires. This towed behind something like a Defender would look very cool. That's the Mink X 
by mink campers. This is quite a cool stand. This is Wolf Outdoors. They've got all sorts. They've got uh, head torches, but they've also got loads of different bottles and lights. There's also fishing equipment. What's all this here? More outdoor lights and sort of tripods that you can put them on. And it's also got things like PR kits as well, PIR kits, so sensors for movement for your lighting outdoors. And then if I come around this side, you'll see there's also like bug zappers. So you put them next to you when you sat outside and the bug should be attracted to that. It's all rechargeable. And then look at these grills. These grills are nice. Impressive. All different cookware. A grill on top of that. That looks like a folding one. That's quite smart. Tiny little gas, gas grill. And then over on this side, you've got more bits like a chiller fan. It's pumping out some 80s style pop video steam. And then you've also got this light up here is on a stand. I really like this idea because if you get the stand high enough up and out the way, your light acts like a bit of a street light on the campsite but all the bugs are attracted up to the top there. So you can sit outside in the summer and the bugs are up and out of the way from you. So that's quite cool, I like that. This is the Grand Adventure 600 by CJL, CJ, I can't say that at all, CJL Leisure. Again, based on a VW Crafter. I really like these decals on the side. It looks so cool. But yeah, look at what do you think to that interior. That is, an, that is orange seats. And then, yeah, look at that. That is absolutely incredible. Got really cool. Oh, did Zoe give any to bring out? Got really cool worktop here. Like it's got loads of different colours in the actual worktop there. And then you've got um, obviously the, one of those fridges that opens both ways on the end. Wood effect flooring. <laughs> I can't get over those seats. That is mad. And then the actual storage area, you've got cupboards around the top, but they've got these like individual bags that you can take out. So that's quite handy for when you're packing stuff away. The blinds are like built into the actual inside of the windows, so they roll down. Um, yeah, washroom on the side there, and a big uh, transverse bed. But that's not just that area there for sleeping. You do also have a pop top, which you access through the top there with a ladder. Very cool, but I do like the shape of those seats. I'm not sure if I'd actually pick that colour though, not really for me. I do quite like the little table area on the side there, that's quite cool. And then it's got a big rear wheel rack on the back there. This is obviously designed for people working on their bikes. You've got, um, you've got a hose on the side there so you can hose it all down you've got obviously this slide out rack so you can actually work on the bike easily yeah quite the setup and then up at the top there you can see the big pop top so it's a huge pop top very cool i do like the ladder on the side there that's quite smart the way it's like integrated in the side in fact one thing i haven't seen before is this has got a side pod but it extends all the way forward look at that never seen a side pod that comes this far forward. That's very different. Now it's not all crafters and sprinters here. This is based on a Peugeot. This is by a company called Auto Explore and this is the Auto Explore SB. And I wanted to just show you guys this because this is a completely different layout. As you walk in it's much more like a a cottage inside so you walk in you've got a sofa on the side there captain's chairs on the front there that swivel around you've also got another seat on the side here but as you walk in it just feels huge it feels absolutely massive because you've got a big kitchen right at the back which you rarely see and look at all these cupboards all the way along the top all the, way, all, all the way along the top and then you've got 
storage up at the top there. You can obviously put a table in the actual socket down the bottom there so you can sit here and have your lunch or dinner. And then this actually pulls out for your bedding. You pull this framework out and rearrange the cushions to make a bed. As we move further back though, yet yeah, there's just loads of space. Your washroom is on the side here. Oh, it's obviously got a PIR sensor. So your washroom's on the side there. Again, it's a decent size, but this kitchen is massive. Everything just feels so big. Natural sort of fabric and stuff isn't really to my taste, but it just feels really, really big. Nice to see a different layout. Those of you that are finding camper vans a little bit too luxurious, this is the best festival tent 2024. Let's have a look inside here. <laughs> oh wow, it really is just a tent, but a very nice one at that. This is the classic Instant 300. You've got access both ways, so you can, when you stumble back to your tent at Glastonbury, it doesn't matter which side you stumble in, you will find your way in. <laughs> but yeah, so that's an award-winning tent there, the classic Instant 300 by Van Gogh. If you're a bit stuck for space, but you want to get away camping, this is the Campmaster trailer tent. So look how small it is when it's folded up. It is tiny. It's got a little like rack on it so you can store things on the top. That's really cool. But then when you actually have a look inside, this one's obviously got an awning on it as well, but it folds out and creates a really quite decent sized bed. Look at the size of that. Then this one's actually got an awning at the back there as well with a little port loo down there. So you can get changed and use that as your changing area. You've got a living space at the front here, but it creates a really decent sized bed. I can completely see why these are award-winning. This is the Campmaster Air 600 LX. And yeah, last year it was the trailer tent without kitchen winner. I like it. The neat thing that I've just seen is it can actually be end stored as well. So that's what this is for. You, you can see it's on like an arch bit. So you basically you can rock it back and store it on its end. Very clever. I've just been walking past this tent and I don't think the camera will do justice of quite how big this is. It's more like an aircraft hangar, but if I walk and show you by paces, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a bit. The seven and a bit. In fact, let's go in and have a look. Look at the size of this. So this is the Delamere 8, 2,000 pounds. And the overall footprint is 580, 5.8 meters by 7.25. But it is absolutely massive. I don't think the camera really does it justice. You've got three bedrooms. This is like your master bedroom, the principal suite, some would call it. And then you've got two smaller, but they're still doubles, bedrooms. And then there's even an enormous L-shaped sofa in here, inflatable one. This is absolutely massive. Oh, and these are the chairs that we've got. Everyone always asks about these. These are by Bowcamp. They're quite hard to find, but yeah, they're by a company called Bowcamp. Highly recommended. So yeah, that is absolutely enormous. The activity pool is here again this year. <laughs> it looks great fun. I would not want to fall in on day one though, this, uh, this early in the show. Now here's something very different. Obviously it's absolutely enormous inside, but this has got a bit of a trick to it. So yeah, you've got your lounge area, you've got your dining area over on this side. Obviously nice big windows. You've got 
Lovely kitchen area. That's very cool, isn't it? Lovely light and airy inside, very much like a house. And then inside here, you have your toilet and shower. This is your bedroom area. <laughs> so yeah, you've got nice big double bed, but look at all the storage on this side. That is absolutely vast, full fitted wardrobe. But can you tell what's so special about this? Obviously you've got a deck either side, front and back, lovely big opening doors. But I don't know if you can see, we are quite a bit higher than everyone else. That's right, the clever thing about this is this is actually a floating house. So you, as you can see, you've got a hull underneath it and it's designed to be put inside a marina, just like shown on the screen there. There's absolutely no question whether these stand out. These are from a company I've not seen before, Cactus, and they're an absolute beast. Look at that. That is incredible. Look at that front bumper. So it's based on, I think, a crafter. It's either a crafter or an MAN, but that is an absolute monster. I like the ladder on the side as well. That is cool. What a setup. Look at that rack on the back there. That is so cool. Those wheels are massive. It's got a lift kit on it. Oasis 4x4, this is called. Look at the snorkel as well and the lights along the top. That is incredible. I like the red as well. It even looks like it's got cameras on the side here. So it's got very nice floor. I like that sort of the step up and then uh, yeah not too much of a step here you know we don't really like big steps because it's not very good for the dog to sleep but this is so cool I love these seats Shulman seats almost like from out of rally cars and then you've got a really cool display on the front there I suspect that's for your, all your camera setup more screens at the top there, and that, that'll be all your control center for everything on board. You've got cupboards all the way around. Another couple of seats at the back here, and then a table. And then, yeah, cupboards all the way down the side here, which are really smart. This woodwork is absolutely beautiful. This is so nice. Look at all the mood lighting as well. It's really nice. Got tons of cupboards all down here. There's tons of storage in here. Sink over this side. Oh, that's a bit fancy, isn't it? Everything feels so heavy duty. Then yeah. obviously you've got uh, oven down here, induction hob on the top here. I like that little window. That's quite nice. Just gives a little bit of ventilation. That is opening as well. And then look at this bed area. This is so cool. That is amazing. So you sleep widthways, obviously, on this one. You've even got a screen on the top there, look at that. That is amazing. Then loads of little cupboards along the top there. Speakers, but look at this roof. Look at that, it's a glass roof all the way along. With little opening portholes. That is absolutely amazing. I've never seen anything like that. And it's even got a little fan in the top here. This is your fridge, obviously. Huge fridge with a freezer compartment down the bottom more storage at the top and let's have a look at the washroom oh, a really good size washroom as well this is so nice this has got to be the star of the show surely unsurprisingly it's based on a four-wheel drive system um, I can see at the top I wouldn't I was just asking about these you can see these panels here and there's one either side so it's about 
Um, so I can't remember the exact figures, but it's like 250 watts or 200 and something watts of solar. But then you press a button and each blade slides out and there's more solar panels underneath. So it doubles the solar panel capacity um, that you've actually got on the roof. Nice big garage space as well. Just the woodwork and everything is just absolutely stunning. Oh, I'm liking the, even the little button for the lighting. Right, scrap the idea of building a van. Should we just go to Cactus and get them to finish ours off? <laughs> Maybe even start again. <laughs> now, if the Oasis is a little bit too long, this is the Dune variant. Again, four-wheel drive. I like the colour of this, um, this kitchen area. It's really nice and then real nice worktop as well. Then, yeah, you've got um, obviously a stunning floor again all the mood lighting and everything is just absolutely amazing drop down table on the outside of the kitchen and then yeah look at this this is just beautiful absolutely beautiful well i'd never heard of cactus vans and i assumed that they were maybe a german company it's just got that kind of german quality look about it but it's it's not they're from south wales and they're fantastic this is the first time they've been to the show and yeah they're really pleased they've come because they're getting tons of attention. So again, like I said, it's a similar layout as the longer version, uh, but you've got you know, your two captain's chairs, two uh, seats opposite that with a table. Then you've got your kitchen area again, but despite it being a medium wheelbase, you do still have a washroom, which is quite good. There's a lovely washroom again. Really nice, I like go. Awesome quality stuff. This is really nice. And then it, look at the little things like, look at that window up at the top there. That is so cool. I've just never seen anything like that before. And then again, you've got, uh, you see width ways again. So transverse bed, storage, and then look at the big screen on the back there. Really smart windows again on both sides. And then again, you have that incredible glass roof that roof is so cool with little fans in the top for ventilation little opening portholes and although it's a um although it's a four by four they must raise the roof a bit because it's got plenty of head height as well kitchen's really well equipped got fridge um induction hob obviously a sink and all that windows obviously you can, you can see through them it's a bit they're tinted windows and the show's quite dark at the minute so it's not the easiest to see but you can see the van there um, but there's this little switch and if you can see the van press the button and it electronically blanks out the windows how cool is that and it's got them on all the windows sort of back from the cab <laughs> what a setup so neat it's so so cool the guy from Cactus was just telling me as well that um, the customer just came to check this over uh, only last week and has then, it's been sort of wrapped up nice and gently, brought to the show so that they can showcase their work. But, so it's hot off the press this one, really, really nice. So this has certainly got a different layout. This is by Globe Traveller, and this is the Falcon 2XS. What do you think to the gold? Certainly a bit different, isn't it? It's got quite a high roof on this one. So let's take a look inside, because this is very different. You've obviously got your kitchen, which extends out over the sliding door. And then on this side, you've got your two captain's chairs. But then, you've got a table here but then the, the bed is already made up in this and you can see the bed is actually in the middle the washroom is right at the back there what do you think to this layout obviously you've got to decide which way you're going to sleep because <laughs> if you if your head is that end you've got to do a backwards roll into there at night time to use the shower but uh yeah so, certainly something different then you've got you can see with the kitchen you've got your um fridge on this side obviously your dual burner hob which is um, electric and then you've got your sink with tap 
and all the cupboards down the side here. Got plenty of storage along the top, which is quite handy. But yeah, and then the skylight at the top. I've actually found one where the bed isn't made up. So you can see here, it's like a sofa where you sit sideways and I can actually show you the toilet cubicle. So it's a really big toilet area. You've got cassette toilet and shower. Yeah, got a skylight in there as well. So what do you think to this as a different layout? Right, well there we have it for another NEC show. Uh, yeah, it's been quite nice actually. This is the first time I think we've been on a Tuesday. Certainly the first time for a long time anyway that we've been on a Tuesday. And it's been a really, really nice amount of people here. So it's, um, yeah, makes a big difference. I think the Saturday and Sundays are very busy. But it's been good. Yeah, loads to see. I do like this show because there's a lot of tents and a lot of camping accessories and things like that. But it's, um, yeah, been another good show. Let us know in the comments below which has been the highlight for you. For me, it's got to be those cactus um, crafters. They are so, so cool. Let us know what you think is the star of the show. And uh, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and do consider subscribing because it really, really helps the channel out. And yeah, please share the video as well because that really helps us out. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Go.